Hey, pretty planner dolls. It's me, Shonda of Pretty Face Plans, and I am back with a, another planner-related video. As you can see, sitting here before you, I have my gold mine and cocoa treasure chest box. This is the April box. I just got it in from FedEx today. It was here when I got home from work, and I am too, too excited to open it up and see what's inside. I've seen a couple of previews on Instagram and some in the Gold Mine and Coco Facebook group with uh, peaks of what's going to be inside this box, but I have not opened the box myself. I just took it out of the outer FedEx wrapper. So if you are interested in seeing what's inside this box and being excited about it as I am, you know what to do. Stick around. <music> Okay, so I'm so excited. I already know that this is a budgeting box. So let's get into it and see what's in here. Dun, 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 dun. So first, I have, let me zoom out a little bit so I'll have more room on this desk. I got too much little cutesy stuff right here in the way. So first you have this little thank you card. This is new, I think. I don't remember if it was in my last box. It says motivate, empower, empower, inspire. Your potential is limited, limitless. Now let gold mine and cocoa help you tap into every ounce of your greatness. Need tips on how to structure your planner so you smash your goals. Learn all about gold mine and cocoa and how to make the most out of your products by joining our Facebook group today. Already a member. Then it's a cute little quote down here that says, you're a diamond and you deserve to see yourself as the driven, extraordinary, phenomenal woman you are. And then the backside just says, thank you for your order. We hope this package brightens your day as much as your order has brightened ours. Take a photo and tag us on social media. I definitely will do that. So now we have our box. And in the box, we have the little tissue paper, the gold mine and cocoa tissue paper. And it's so pretty and it smells good. What are these? Some wax, some wax melt. Oh my goodness. Mm, that smells so good. Okay. So let's pull everything out. I am so excited. Move this out of the way. Yay, 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 yay. This is the highlight of my day. Okay, so, oh my goodness, these are so cute. Oh, and another pen. Okay, I don't know what to start. We're going to start with these envelopes first. I think these are cash envelopes. I think that's what they're supposed to be used for. And you get five of them. I love the colors, the coral, and the green, and the gray. <coughs> that's so cute and then you have this floral one and I'm just going to take one of these out of the package because they all seem to be the same they are just uh, different patterns so the first pattern is the peaches then you have the planner dolls with four different dolls and I'm assuming these are going to be the dolls and their outfits that are in the kit yeah, because she has on the peach shirt. Then we have the florals, stripes, and not dots. I call these speckles. So I'm just going to open one of them up. If I can get it open. Again, I love these colors. Okay, so yeah, it's just a little envelope. I am definitely going to have to see a 
live or watch some uh, videos on YouTube about uh, how to use these. I'm assuming they're cash envelopes. If you know that they're cash envelopes for sure, or you know what they're supposed to be used for, please drop a comment below and let me know. I have never used cash envelopes because I, although I do make a budget, it's not anything formal. So I'm looking forward to um, using this stuff to kind of get that aspect of my life in order. Okay, so the next little thing here is some um, script stickers. So let's look at those. I can start fighting this stuff to get it open. Okay, so the script stickers. This, they're all on clear sticker paper. And you get one, two, three, four, five sheets. The first sheet has scripts that have to do with your finances, paying bills, bill due, deposit, mortgage, car note, credit, water bill, car loan, cash, debt, cell phone, due, loan, savings, gas, internet, fund, budget, income, spent, food, car payment, bills, travel, Amazon, oh. I need a whole bunch of, I need a whole sheet of these Amazon ones. I am constantly getting an order from Amazon. Electricity, books, emergency car insurance, dining, repairs, transfer. So pretty much anything that you probably could have as an expense that I can see on here. Shopping, revenue, charity, home loan, entertainment, groceries, Netflix, tax, everything. And then... This second sheet is just some more of the same, just any expense that you could possibly have. Home decor, hair and beauty, properties, investments, personal loans, property taxes, medical, monthly due, budget. And these, this third sheet is a money after money themed affirmation sheet. So some of those say, I am wealthy, money magnet, money flows into my life easily. I am financially free. I always attract money. Being wealthy feels amazing. More wealth, more freedom. I am proud of my efforts. I have more than enough big money goals. I think positive about money. Money is my best friend. I am on the road to success. I am focused on attracting money. So like I said, it's a sheet of clear money or financial themed affirmations. And that is in like a serif font. And then this sheet is a script font and just some quotes or affirmations where the money resides. If you are saving, you are succeeding. It's not the money I'm after, it's the freedom. My business is a huge success. The universe supports me in every way. I attract limitless, limitless wealth. So again, I'm not gonna read all of them. I am rich in all areas of my life. So script, finance-based, money-based affirmations. And then this last sheet is the same thing. Money always comes my way. I get paid well for my work. I'm grateful that I attract abundance. Uh, I see myself living a life of financial security. I am financially prospering every day. So again, money, finance-based script stickers. Okay, you know, I always save my sticker pack for last. So I am going to do that again this year. Let me just see if I can successfully slide these back into their little pouch. Oh, I did a good job that time. Didn't fight me that much. Okay, so save that for last. Here we have, what are these? These looks like some little small sticky notes. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, that's just a little backing card. And this is a, oh, it is like a washi, it feels like the texture of a washi 
page, a page flag. That's what it feels like. It's a page flag pad. Cute, cute, cute. And then it has the doll on it. And it needed the backing because it's kind of curling up. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. I made a crease in it. Okay, well, that's what that is. It's a page flag, sticky note type flag. And while I have it out, because I just want to see, got another beautiful pen. I was just crying because my pen, I was on the Facebook group whining this morning because my uh, pen that came in, I guess it was a January subscription box, had run out of ink, but look, I have three more of those, and now I have this beautiful peach-based one that came in this subscription box, and I'm going to go ahead and purchase some refills for all of them because I write with them so much that, I, like I said on the Facebook group, Goldmine and Toco Facebook group, I ran out of ink. So I'm going to test this one out. I hate to go ahead and open it, but I want to see if it'll write on this page flag. And it does, it does. So I got some ideas of how I'm going to use those. So that's the pen. These are the page flags. And then, oh, I didn't even see, you get two of those. One in the rust brown or orangey color and then one in the olive green color and it has a different planning doll on it and i'm not going to pull that all the way out then oh just so many things then you get these little page flags or like posted page flags i love this little card i'm not going to throw this well of course i'm not because the flags are stuck to it so these little flags in the colors of the kit again love these colors they look so good together so yeah i'm having a hard time with my nails but just a little sticky note page flag got a lot of sticky on it so those are cute then let's see we have this beautiful budget planner and I'm going to go ahead and crack it on open. I already know it's a budget planner because I've been seeing comments on various social media but again it is that high quality paper that I have com come to know and love from Gold Mine and Coco and then it says this journal belongs to so it's a financial journal title of it is good fruit it has the green gold foil on the front with the beautiful peach background peaches okay envision your money money magnet debt free financially free save invest grow spend less prosperity money blessing what does life look like then you have your monthly bills tracker for your household your memberships your maintenance, miscellaneous, hobby. Fill that up with gold mine and cocoa. And add about 40, 11 more lines on here. That's how much money I spend at gold mine and cocoa, how many orders I place. Uh, then you have a vacation goal. I will save blank per blank to reach my goal. And then you have a savings goal. Over here, you have recurring payments with uh, payments that happen weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and quarterly. It has a place for you to list the company name, what type of bill it is, the amount, when it's due, and if it's on auto pay or do I need to remember to make that payment. And you have that for each one of those categories. Then you say how to budget and stack like a uh -oh, typo, boost. I guess that's supposed to say boss. And then it gives you some excellent pointers about how to budget. Like your household expenses should be approximately 30% of your income, no more than 50%. 20% uh, of your income should be on leisure and hobbies. This includes membership. Treat yourself 
20% on uh, treating yourself, 15% toward future expenses and or debt, and savings, 15%. So that's 30, 50, 70, and 30 with those two. And then you have your monthly breakdown because there's no one-size-fits-all method to budget and spend and start with what feels comfortable to you. Guaranteed monthly income, what percentages work best for you. Okay, okay, loving it, loving it. And this is smart credit, how you are supposed to keep, like credit card companies want you to have your credit, your total credit usage below 30%. So this helps you kind of monitor where you are on uh, all of your credit cards. I need some more of those because I have too many credit cards. But I will say I am, my total is under 30%. And then here's a bill tracker. Did you pay your bills? What bill, how much was due, was it amount? And then all for all months of the year. Then you have a debt tracker, another debt tracker. So several pages of debt tracker. And then you have a January monthly calendar, a monthly budget, track your money, track your money, monthly no spend and savings tracker. Day one, no spend, what did you save? And so you get 30 days of that. And if you're on a no spend and then it repeats for February, and I guess for every month. Let's see. Yep, that's July, August. And so you have one of those for the every, every month. And I'm going to go ahead. It starts in January, but it is undated. So I am going to go ahead and start using this. And I'll try to set it up for the month of May. And then I will continue and I can use it all the way up to next April. So again, like I said, it is the quality paper that you're used to if you have any gold mine and cocoa products and just a beautiful and thorough uh, financial planner and budgeting planner that and then real quick the last thing i have to go through are these lovely weekly kits Ooh, this pack is thick this pack is thick this pack is thick so Let's see how many sheets we got this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve sheets. And you have this quick kit called Money Flows Easily to Me. And then the headers that you get are monthly budget, income sources, expenditures, weekly budget, savings, paydays, bill due. And then you have your days of the week headers, a bill due, uh, mortgage, rent, budget, and what you actually spent, one for groceries and what you actually spent, hair care and beauty, and what budget and what you actually spent, income, expenses, debt, savings, expenses here, and then your monthly budget. Then this one has different categories uh, of expenses you may have, rent and mortgage, transportation, entertainment, insurance, education, personal, utilities, uh, Sunday. Oh, these are days of the week headers. I'm sorry. Then you have your trackers. So you can track your no spend for the entire month almost. Uh, that's three weeks. Worth. No, two no spends. And then you have, if you save something, two savings things. Then this says, I am worthy of making money every day. Of course, you're always going to get some hydration trackers with gold mine and cocoa. This is little headers for income, I guess. It's dollar signs, budget tracking, the week of income, expenses, savings, some checklists, maintenance and entertainment, budget, and how much you spent. Now that I'm fully vaccinated, I can have an entertainment budget again because my entertainment budget has been probably slim to none because I really haven't been doing anything. Okay, this next one has those same expense headers and your days of the week headers. Then you have a budget and spent for car fuel and childcare. My kids are grown, so I don't need that one. 
Uh, this is month of, so date, description, income, spending, this week's spending, payday, stickers, a today sticker, some washi strips on the side, um, some monthly budget, ex income sources, expenditures, weekly budget, savings, payday, bill due, days of the week headers. You can write in a category and then what you budgeted and what you actually spent. You have two of those. Some dollar signs or dollar bills, a little washi strip, a quote, she's a money magnet. This week's spending, what you spent on groceries, personal, transportation, food, and others. Income amount and savings amount. And the dolls, of course. I've been ignoring the dolls, girl. What is wrong with you? I love her dress. That's too cute. Oh, honey. Yes, honey, yes. So again, same headings, some little dollar bill stickers, cell phone budget, utility budget, and what was actually spent. A uh, little tracker, it tracks, the first one is for the first half of the year, the second one is for the second half of the year where you can track your insurance, mortgage, rent, utilities, internet, phones, and these are credit card, icon stickers where I think I'm going to use these in my debt tracker. So I, my goal, one of my goals on my vision board this year was to pay down debt. So I'm going to write the amounts of the credit cards on there so I can know how much I need to pay down. Um, some expense trackers, days of the week headings, budget and spend on clothes and shoes, incoming, outgoing. I got to get more incoming that I have outgoing. Some little icon stickers that you can use to put next to the different types of expenses you have, like what you spend on your car, your house, payday, what you spend on eating out, transportation, like public transportation, uh, uh, vacation or flights, credit cards. Then this is what I spent on insurance, utilities, food, and transportation, and then what I budgeted. This one, it's not the money I'm after, it's the freedom. You have your expense headers, your days of the week, a bill due, a note circle that says there are no limits to what I can achieve, income, expenses, and cash in hand, some checklists, bill due box, desk box, credit card box, and I guess you're smiling if you save and you're Crying if you spent too much. And then, oh, I love this floral strip of washing. Next, this says, beware of little expenses. That is so true because they will eat you up. And before you know it, your money is gone because you nickel and dime yourself to death. Some little date circles, days of the week circles, little strips of washi, some boxes, a habit tracker, your total income. You can use that for the month, a brain dump box. And every time I see this pattern of florals, I just say, I love that. Those flowers are so pretty. Then this one says, be wise with your spending. And again, you have that doll. I saw her before. Maybe she was the brown skin one. Yeah, darker. And this one is the light skin one. So light brown. So remember to do meal prep exercise. So those are the standard stick, uh, headers that you get in most of the weekly kits. Remember to do meal prep exercise to buy important chores. And then the days of the week headers. Then you have a quote that says, money always finds its way to me. My needs, my wants, my education, my personal. I'm done with education, but my daughter isn't. Expense tracker. What did I buy? How much did I spend on it? Debt pay repayment plans. Yep, I already have developed one of those. I just need somewhere to transfer it to that I can keep better track of it my savings plans, my budget plans, and then an expense tracker. Whew, oh my goodness, we still got more. So this one is my goal is financial freedom. You have your standard weekly kit headers and your days of the week headers. You have your budget plans, your saving plans, a couple of page flags, a dot grid note box, a to-do box, and a task box, two hydrate stickers, a little circle sticker that says, I am a money man magnet. Some icon stickers for grocery shopping, Wi-Fi, and savings. 
and her little peach outfit. I don't know if that's a romper or just a long jacket dress, but it's cute, whatever it is. And then her hair in the little twist out look curly with the little half up, half down style. That is too cute. And then you have your dolls in light brown and dark brown. I think she is my favorite from this collection. And then she's my second favorite. I like all of them, but I'm their outfits is what I'm talking about. I love the outfits on her and her. This really is not my style. It's too flowy. I don't know. Okay, so that is all of the things that came in this subscription box. So, let me just put them back in the box very neatly. And we will wrap up this interview, this uh, video. So, let me know what out of this collection do you like the best. I love it all. I love it all, but, and so I'm not gonna pick a favorite thing, cause all of it is my favorite. And I know I'm gonna love that pen. I know I'm gonna love that pen, cause I love my other one. And I'm telling y'all, when my pen ran out of ink today at work and I didn't have another one on standby, feelings were hurt. Feelings were just hurt. And I was mad. I was upset for quite a bit of the day while I uh, broke with that regular pen. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big, big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment below with what you liked from the subscription box the best. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. How do you become a subscriber? Go right over there and hit that red subscription button. It's right about there, right there. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit the gray notification bell. That way, whenever I post new content, you'll be notified, guys. It's been real. It's been fun. I hope it's been real fun. I'm going to go work on my budget and play with my new pretty things. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <music>